I've unpinned the centre section and it's come out very nicely. Now I've just cut off the surplus for the time being. Um, so I've used the same technique on the wing for the packing, etc. Now I've come across a slight hiccup with the wing and that is the wing tip is all very well drawing it like that, but the wing tip um, comes up goes from down there to up here and in doing so of course it's shorter as it comes up so I've had to add a piece of wood from the original um, piece of balsa it came out of to, to actually meet up with the lead edge so I've got enough wood on there now just to make a lovely bird tuff on that so I'm gonna have a go at sanding that in Let's see how we get on. That's nice. So we'll let that set off. Go for our little walk now. And when I come back, we can unpin it. Hi guys, welcome back. Um, so, we've had a lovely afternoon. Both wing halves are built and this intersection, all ready to sand. They'll go on there like that. Hell of a dihedral. And uh, yeah, I built the port wing, that one, while I was live streaming this afternoon, talking to some of you, which was great. And uh, so that's that done. I just thought I'd have a look at the fin and tail plane. And now I've seen it, I can go to bed. Because <laughs> um, I can't reach over this one it's built, I've got to start with the fin and obviously I need some bits R3, R1 and R2 not necessarily in that order one R2 and R3 yeah the great um, live stream this afternoon a lot of the boys were there some of the girls were there too um, this one here, I think we can probably put a pin straight through to hold it in place because it's a decent size. Ah, before you get carried away, Cliff, I have to make a rudder. Now, it would seem fortuitous to put a rudder in. It's got to be above the tailplane, which would be up here somewhere. So that fits into there like that. So... I'm thinking something along the lines of put another piece of wood in here and a gusset to there and up to there so I'll make it as one piece and then cut this after I take it off but I need to allow set another piece of wood in here beside that one and I need to fit something a little bit chunkier at the bottom because I need to put a horn in there We need a piece of wood to go in here. Got to leave a little gap in there, which is going to be constant. So let's put that in, in there. And the gap is going to be best made, I think. Just put a couple of pins in. Right, so now that will go in there. I'm going to glue that all in and then cut that out after I've sanded it that bit there isn't needed that's a good fit so let's just pop that in there a little bit on that end
one done free to go I'll finish these other three guys and then I'll be right back and we'll have a look at the tailplane nice if you can get them opposite and looking nice square okay so that's the fin and eventual rudder made now I'm going to look at the tail plane oh yeah oh yeah 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 so it comprises of t1 t2 t3 t4 gussets do you know what I think I might just put an elevator one side that would make a lot more sense and look really vintage so I'm going to put it there 25 millimeters in and I'm going to glue the tail plane on I need to do away with these gussets and put in a piece of triangular wood to the same shape as that is going to be I'll come in a bit and I need a piece of wood to mount it on possibly an off cut from there would be ideal looks long enough Okay, hey, it's all coming together, guys. So let's just pop this in here. Like that. Just cut that off there. That's gonna go in here, which could be quite important to get in place put in the wing tips just offering up the uh, main spar I can build up this front edge now and I can put in eight seven and six I'll put in something there to push against that you can put something there to push against and that will be won't dent it then let's think about the elevator now what I'll do when that's dry I'll cut down through there and taper it I'll do a taper cut on one side to allow for the elevator to go down and um, but I'll probably use this very piece of wood here it's long enough so leading the trailing edge of the elevator itself now the other thing I want to do then is to put these ribs on here 3 32nd apart but I also want to double them up right and that leaves us the exact width or the fin to slot in there okay and that is completes the tailplane construction for this evening don't think I should be doing any more now so as usual thanks for watching and joining me okay cheers guys and a bit of